Hi, I'm Grant from Amphenol Connects, and today I'm going to show you how to assemble one of our three-piece crimp coaxial connectors. What you'll need for this tutorial. A three-piece crimp connector, in this case Amphenol Connects part number 112118, which is comprised of a crimp ferrule, a center contact pin, and a main body. You will also need the customer drawing corresponding to your part number three-piece crimp crimp assembly instructions, and the Amphenol Connects ratcheting crimp tool that corresponds with the type of cable your connector mates to. In this case, part number 4710070. -0070. Step 1. Strip the cable to the stripping dimensions indicated on the customer drawing. Step 2. Place the crimp ferrule on the cable. Step 3. Place the contact pin onto the cable and crimp it in place using the crimp tool. To do this, begin by placing the contact pin into the center conductor of the cable. It should look like this. Note the inspection hole through which you should be able to see the fully inserted center conductor of the cable. Now. Locate the crimp instructions on your connector drawing and note that the contact pin requires a .068 inch crimp. Next, take your crimp tool and locate the .068 cavity. Now you are ready to crimp the pin. Start by opening the tool and placing the pin into the jaws, making sure that the base of the pin sits flush against the tool. Now, while holding the pin firmly in place on the cable, Close the tool around the pin, just enough to hold it in place. Take a moment to make sure that you are securely holding the pin onto the cable and against the tool. Then, fully close the tool to crimp the pin. The ratcheting action on the tool will cause the jaws to release when the pin has been fully crimped. Here's the finished product. Step 4. Attach the connector body to the cable. To do this, begin by partially inserting the cable into the connector body and use the body to push against the insulator of the cable and spread out the braid enough to fully insert the cable into the connector without trapping any of the braid. Note that this connector has a captivated contact, meaning that the contact will lock into place when it is fully inserted. Listen for the snap when the contact locks into place. Here's what it should look like if done correctly. Step 5. Crimp the ferrule. The first thing you need to do for this step is push the ferrule up so that it meets with the connector body. Next, you'll revisit the crimp dimensions on the drawing and note that the ferrule crimp dimension is 0.255 inches. Now, place the ferrule into the 0.255 inch cavity on the jaws of the tool, making sure that the base of the connector body is flush against the tool. Loosely close the tool around the ferrule, just enough to hold it in place while you reposition your hands so that the connector body and ferrule are clamped between your thumb and index finger. This will ensure that the ferrule sits flat against the connector when crimped. Now, fully close the tool to crimp the ferrule. When the tool is closed completely, the ratchet action will release and the tool will open. Congratulations! You have just completed assembly of your three-piece crimp crimp connector. Let's recap. Start by stripping the cable. Next, put the crimp ferrule on the cable. Now, attach and crimp the contact pin. Next, attach the body to the cable. Lastly, slide the ferrule up to the body and crimp. This completes the tutorial for assembling a three-piece crimp BNC connector. While I demonstrated this process on a BNC connector, it applies to any Amphenol Connects three-piece crimp connector. Thank you for watching. 
For more instructional videos and information, please visit amphenolconnects.com.